Hey guys, it's Full Cards here, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York. And look what I have in front of me. I have a box of the 2013 Upper Deck Team Canada cards. So these would have been the introduction or reintroduction of Canada cards to the hobby. Uh, subsequent years, of course, 2014 onward, we've had those robust uh, Canadian Junior cards with the women and so on. This is a slightly different configuration, but interesting nonetheless. Uh, we can look at our odds and our inputs here, if you can scooch a, a little bit of a gander at that. Two autos per box, theoretically, four program of excellence cards, four special editions uh, cards. There should be the parallels, the reds, the glossies, potentially, theoretically, uh, printing plates. Uh, we also get 24 short prints, and the base set would be 100 cards. Above and beyond that, you would have uh, the short prints, etc. So let me zoom in. Uh, and let's sort of, uh, let's slide this uh, plastic off and uh, let this break take off. So we have a no seal and here is the box. It looks a lot like, not like a um, hobby box, it looks a lot like a retail box, but it is a hobby box, believe it or not. Uh, there are autos in here. And let's see what we get. So the base set should run 1 to 100, and then above and beyond that we have short prints to uh, 200, I believe. Uh, then program of excellence, etc., etc. Uh, should be interesting. We should see Gretzky's and Lafleur's and Bossies along with Braden Shen's and Gallagher's and uh, lesser known players. So here would be the back of the card. Uh, Braden Shen, who's injured right now, but should be back shortly, I assume. Uh, and a very clean look, uh, Team Canada look, black, white, and you have your red. And these are all pretty much known quantities for the most part. Brett Conley, Jay McClennett, McClen Mint, and Jane Schwartz. So those would potentially all be base. If they're above 100, they're not base. So the Jane Schwartz would be a short print. These are really, really cool. Um, I always love opening up these products. Uh, this is a bit of a lesser product in comparison and contrast to the uh, Canadian Juniors uh, in subsequent years. They sort of went a little bit more thicker, more on the memorabilia and so on. These uh, hits are a little bit lighter. Uh, there's Devin Dubnik. We have Shane Doan, Captain O oh, Captain Shane Doan. And we have Patrick Wa, a young looking uh, 18, 19 year old Patrick Wa. Very cool. So this would be the short print card. So this looks to be probably uh, after he won his first Stanley Cup uh, with the Habs in the mid 80s. There's Ryan Getzlaff, a real beast. Clark MacArthur. There's Brian Little. Uh, so you would find autos like Brian Little's auto in here. And there's Brendan Gallagher. Uh, and the autos aren't necessarily worth that much. It depends on whether they're the short print autos or not. But Brendan Gallagher uh, would happen to be just a base short print, if you will. No, not, not a short print. Uh, all kinds of good stuff going on in here. We should look for Adam Henry, Cam Ward, um, Jason Spezza, people like that, essentially. Pierre-Marc Bouchard. There's Michael Camilleri, Jaden Schwartz. Uh, and here is our first program of, of excellence. Uh, it's an alumni card, and it's Jeff Skinner. So you see that would be above and beyond the 200 checklist once you start floating into the program of excellence, that's 225. And there would be Taylor Hall, which Taylor Hall would be a base short print. In other words, above 100. There are some other things. So there are gold autos, which are sort of the common autos. Then there are black autos, I believe number two, five. Uh, and a couple of other things. I think there's some insert captain cards that you get once in a blue moon as well. So we shall see. Is Braden Holtby, uh, who's just a base card, Mark Stone, uh, and there's Eric Lindros. So this would be our short print. So the price point for this, I'd say $40, $50, no more than $50 would be the uh, price point you'd be looking for, or looking at, or uh, aiming for. 
Hamannick, Sam Gagne, and Josh Harding. And Josh Harding would happen to be the short print. So the short prints are similar to your MVP set where you sort of get these, you know, limited checklists, a little bit limited. Mm -hmm. So the base short prints would fall one per pack, obviously. Here's Peter Angelo, Brady McNabb. There's Jordan Eberly and Kyle Torres, short print. No autos yet, uh, only one program of excellence. Uh, important also to be looking for the uh, the parallels again which you know the the gloss etc uh, usually hard to the red ones I think are easy to spot obviously the printing plates would be super easy to spotify Calvin DeHaan so you might for example we might get an auto of him you can definitely certainly get lesser autos as a as opposed to short prints like your Gretzky's etc there's Ryan Ellis and there's Marc-Andre Fleury. So this would be the short print, the Marc-Andre Fleury. Really nice. Love him. He's got the yellow uh, pad. So you notice that it's not just World Juniors or whatnot. It is Team Canada, in other words, Olympics and international play. Steph, uh, Stephen Weiss, Cody Eakin. And we have this Stephen Elliott program of excellence. Uh, and then we have a special edition card. So this is our first special edition. I believe these fall with, what did we say, one every six packs? So there should be four of them. We hit, we hit Ryan Spooner. Uh, these are really nice. So you not notice that they're, as opposed to these cards, which are essentially an extension of the base set, uh, these foily things have their own base checklist. You know, base checklist, or checklist, that is. You see it's an SE special edition number 13, and we've got the Spooner. And there's Jose Theodore. Uh, with his heart trophy um, is considered a short print. Um, also, you know, Hopi isn't a short print, and that's probably because he hadn't made his mark yet in the NHL back in 2013. There's James Neal, Joe Hansen, we got Tyler Myers, we have another special edition, and then we have this Uberdo. So let's just see which one here. So this would have been our. Uh, Jonathan Uberdo. You know, there are also two redemptions, I believe, and I believe it would be Sean Monaghan and uh, Nate McKinnon, and that's because they were rookie years, and they were, I guess, first overall picks, or, or uh, Nate McKinnon might have been the first overall pick that year. Uh, so that's Uberdo. Uh, so, so this is John Tavares' special edition. Really, really cool. Nice to hit that one. Uh, he is certainly a known quantity. He put up big points yesterday, got the game-winning goal last night. Considering when I film this for Toronto, of course. There's Jake Allen, Chet Picard, Chet Pickard, uh, Greg Yanni, Jamie Benn, and Vinny Le Cavalier. So Vinny Le Cavalier would be at the top of our checklist. He was a known quantity Stanley Cup winner. Um, First overall pick, he was many things, Vinny Le Cavalier. He had a great career. Ryan Spooner, uh, Zach Cassian, we have this Cam Ward, and we do have something here. Oh, it's, I guess, oh, it's, it's turned around for whatever reason. Turned me around for a second. Uh, these are all base cards. Uh, we got this Jordan Stahl, which would happen to be um, the high number card. And then we got a Team Canada Captains. So this is an insert set, and we actually hit the uh, the Joe Sackick. So this is pretty cool. I think you get them maybe one per box. Let me just uh, take a quick, quick peek of that, if I can. Uh, captains. Captain sets, 22 cards in the entire checklist. Uh, the autos deliver are deliver one in 1,152. So there are auto cards of those team captains, but the captain set checklist is one in 54. One in 54. So more, so they land uh, every couple of boxes. Um, but th that's nice to hit it. And we hit the Joe Sackick, which is a beautiful card. It's a good looking, good looking clean design as well. Very nice, very uh, Team Canada forward, very Canadian. 
still haven't hit an auto, so we're bound to hit a couple of those at some point in the uh, distant or near future. Oh, there's the Bobby Orr. That's nice. That's a 1976 uh, Bobby Orr, I gather. And that's just in the base checklist, that particular Bobby Orr. And here's Marty Brodeur. So Marty Brodeur, again, would be our short print. So we should land uh, 24 short prints because they come one every pack. So that's what we would suppose expect. Uh, Simone Dupre, uh, Quentin Howden. And there we have another program of excellence and we hit the Jonathan Ubeldo program of excellence. Okay, so that would have been our third. We're guaranteed four of these. And then uh, we also hit the Marc Messier short print. Um, cleaning the short print base set is not the end of the world. I don't think it's that difficult to do. I think it's actually fairly easily done. One per pack is pretty often enough. There's Tyler Innes. Uh, Carl Alsner, uh, who was a fifth overall pick, believe it or not. Then we have Dustin Tokarski, who played on the Bolts and the Habs and a couple of other places. And he was, he was actually pretty decent in Team Canada. And then we have this Phil Esposito. That is a nice looking photo. Uh, short print and, you know, is that it's probably Bobby Orr in the distance there? But uh, that looks to be 76-ish, which is a pretty well-known year for Team Canada's uh, goodies and stuff. Cogliano, Brent Seabrook, Devontae smith Pelly. There's Devontae smith Pelly, who was a stud in the playoffs last year. Uh, I really like uh, the fact that some of those fourth-line contributors, uh, there's Dan Boyle, have had um, major contributions during the Stanley Cup Finals, it's like Nick Benino and so on. It's always a reminder uh, that it's... Oh, we have a signature here, so I'll put that aside. Look to be some signature of some form or fashion. Look like a typical gold signature, which would be the base signatures, believe it or not. I don't think there are anything. Oh, there's another one in here, I think. You so the signatures are supposed to land one every uh, two, one every twelve, I guess, two per box, five cards per uh, pack. So that would be 120 cards total. Um, you should get two per box, and I think on occasion you can actually get three signatures. Uh, perhaps if you hit one of those rare ones alongside the uh, more common ones. Zach Boychuk. And here's a Chet Picard, Picard uh, alumni program of excellence card. And then we have this Brad Boys. Oh, this is an exclusives. So this Brad Boys is an exclusives. Number to 10. Numbered soul, number to 10. That's kind of cool. So this would be a parallel exclusives. And it's just, it's, I think, you know what's interesting about it? It is... It's not even red, this exclusives. It would just happen to be a rainbow foil uh, uh, logo. Very interesting. I don't know if there were any other ones. I should take a peek and take a look and so on. The uh, Michael Del Zotto, who I believe is wearing the A on the Vancouver Canucks now, would happen to be our short print. Continuing on, my friends, but I, there aren't any logo patches and stuff like this in this particular product. It wasn't until 2014 that they went uh, in that particular direction. There's Lucic. It's a young-looking Lucic. He certainly has slowed down, and the game is sort of... Oh, look at this! Oh, wow! So we got... So I wonder, this exclusives might be um, high gloss. Could be considered the high gloss if it's number to 10. This Brad Boys. Just gonna take a peek, and then we got this. Wow! So, of all the exclusives to get, we just hit uh, a great one. So right. So high gloss are number to ten. So that rainbow uh, exclusive Brad Boys would be a high gloss. Uh, and then we just hit. In terms of the other ones, we actually hit the Bobby Orr uh, number to one hundred fifty one, which is the ideal one to hit. And this one is numbered above 106, so it's actually a short print. So we hit the short print exclusives of Bobby Orr, numbered to 100. That's really sick. That's awesome. 
Uh, so that's just like what you would call a, uh, uh, just a parallel, but a, a numbered parallel, and it's a short print numbered parallel. Here's the Wainer, um, and Wainer, you know, Wainer, Wainer played 1,487 games in the NHL and put up 2,857 points. And what's crazy about that is he has 1,963 assists, which is more points than Jagger uh, all told. So in other words, had he never scored a goal in the NHL, he still would have had more points than the second person on the all-time list, which is now Yara Jagger, who surpassed Messier. So that's something, and he's actually just on the base checklist, if you can imagine that. Uh, Luke Shen. Uh, and then we have this one here, of Grem Greg Nemes. And look, we have a special edition of Mario. This is a young looking Mario, uh, a 1980s looking Mario. Looks like a rendezvous if you remember that particular tournament, Mario. Uh, awesome. And then Luke Robitaille would be our short print. Uh, the light's failing a little bit. It seems to sort of be simmering down. It's about four o'clock here in Brooklyn and uh, Looks like the light is uh, fading fast, uh, but we're not. There's Adam Henrique, uh, Keith Ollie, Kyle Clifford. Another special edition, it's Ryan Murphy. I played with the Ryan Murphy growing up, but uh, I believe it's a different Ryan Murphy. And there's Cujo. That's a pretty nice one of Cujo, I have to say. Really cool. So that, again, would be short print action. So I'm pretty happy that of all the exclusives that I hit, I would have would have liked to hit the one of t 10 uh, Cujo, not Cujo, um, Bobby Orr, but uh, that's fine. Can't complain. There's Sean Couturier, Tyrell, and Matt Duchesne, who is the short print. Uh, just a couple of packs left, and then I'll scroll down to a couple of the autos that we hit, because we definitely hit some autos. Uh, hopefully they're not just commons, but... What can you do? Uh, and here we have another captains. These captains are actually rare. They're, they're supposed to be delivered one every two and a half boxes or something, and we've gotten uh, two of them. So that's kind of unusual and fortunate and lucky. Uh, I believe they're just base captains. There may be parallels to these captain sets. They do have parallels to the parallels, if you will. And there's Theo Fleury, uh, one of the best diminutive players in the history of the game, alongside, of course, Marty St. Louis. A uh, couple last packs here. I believe there are some autos. Hopefully, uh, we'll see something half decent here. So, we have another Brad Boys. This is just a base Brad Boys as opposed to the rainbow uh, gloss that we had. Uh, here's Bill Ranford, who would be, uh, oh, he's just a base card, believe it or not, a Stanley Cup winner. We have Colton Tubert. And here we have an auto, and the auto is Mark Stone. Mark Stone, that's pretty decent. That's actually not a bad one. Mark Stone auto, that's pretty good. I'm not sure how much it goes for, probably not some crazy amount, maybe 10 bucks or five bucks, but pretty cool, pretty cool. Mark Stone's actually have a decent one uh, for you, I guess, um, Sens fans, etc. And we did have another auto, so let's see if we can sort of, it looks to be a base auto as well as opposed to one of those black autos, unfortunately. We got Stevie Y, which is a base card. We got Chris Pronger wearing the grill, uh, one of the best defensemen to play the game. That is pretty awesome. He's from like Sault Ste. Marie or Thunder Bay, I believe Chris Pronger played uh, on St. Louis and played on Philadelphia. We have Ryan Smith, who played on your uh, on your Edmonton Oilers. We got Logan Couture, and we have this other signature. What is it? Can we get two name players, or is that too much to ask? And it's Tanner Pearson. Tanner Pierce, that's not bad. It's, it's not, not super duper high end, but it's cool. Tanner Pierce, another known quantity. Cool, man. So that's also this one, uh, 126. So it's actually above the 
uh, base set, believe it or not. Well, this one is not, is on your base checklist. It just goes to show how people's um, stock go up and down. But we did get two autos, which is nice. So let's do a recap of our show here. Uh, I think we got everything as promised and desired within this box. Uh, again, before the patches exist, and when I say patches, I don't mean Max Patch Ready. Um, so let's do a quick recap of our hits and so on. So guys, time for the recap. Um, first and foremost, our base set would happen to be, uh, how much do we say? A hundred card base set. Uh, so we go a long way towards uh, building this particular base set. As you can see, as you can tell, we do have a smattering of base, base, base for our face, face, face. Um, and in total, we get 120 cards, including the short prints and so on. So we probably get 85% of the base set. With regard to our, um, our high numbered cards, these would all happen to be high numbered cards. So we're supposed to get one per pack. So that would be 24. Uh, as you can see, for the most part, they are all pretty big names, uh, including the Phil Esposito and the Marc Messier just making sure I'm in focus, uh, the Marty Brodeur, the Jordan Stahl, the Vinny Le Cavalier, the Hubert Du, the uh, Theodore and the Marc Fleury, the Flower, Turris, Harding, Eric Lindros, uh, Taylor Hall, Gallagher, Patrick Watt, and Jane Schwartz. Uh, so that's a pretty big collection of these. I don't, I don't believe that any of these would happen to be um, parallels. If you see that, just let me know. They could sometimes be parallels that I missed. Uh, with regard to our special edition cards, we're guaranteed four, as they were one in six, uh, 24 packs per, so that would be one in four. We got the Ryan Murphy. We did get hit the Mario, so that's kind of cool. It's a big guy, so to speak. We also hit the uh, Johnny T, which is excellent, as, as well as the Ryan Spooner. So we hit a couple of really massive uh, names in this particular one. Um, that didn't work out without sliding off. Boink, like so. Uh, what else did we get? We did get the Program of Excellence cards, uh, so we're guaranteed, again, one for one per six packs, so we should get four. Uh, we got the Czech Picard, we got the Jonathan Uberdo, we got the St uh, Stefan Elliott, and then we got the Jeff Skinner. So we got four of those. Uh, these are all numbered above the 200 uh, short print set, the Program of Excellence ones. Uh, what else did we get? We also got a couple of the captain's cards. Now the captain's cards uh, fall, I believe, one in 54, something to that effect. Uh, so we should only get one, if that, or half of one, a, a, a piece of one. In fact, we got two, uh, and we got some pretty decent names in the history of the game. Um, so, you know, we, we, hit, um, we hit Joe Sackick, of course, and we hit Luc Robitaille. Uh, and so these are really, really nice captain's cards, really nicely designed captain's cards. Uh, we were guaranteed, or I believe we're supposed to get, or theoretically we can get, or we might get, uh, if you will, some parallels. And in fact, we did hit this Brad Boys uh, parallel, which is pretty cool, and it would be an exclusive high gloss parallel. Uh, with the rainbow tinge to it, and we got number 9 of 10. So there are only 10 of these, and I happen to hit number 9 of 10. And then we actually hit the exclusives Bobby Orr uh, with the red uh, emblem, per usual, and this one was numbered 51 of 100. So that is pretty cool. Finally, with regard to autos, we actually did land a couple of autos. We're supposed to land two. We, in fact, landed two. We hit Tanner Pearson. Uh, which is just a base gold auto. There are black numbered autos. We did not hit those, unfortunately. Uh, and we hit the Mark Stone. So we actually hit a decent one with the Mark Stone, which is kind of nice. Uh, so that's it, man. We uh, did fairly well in this box. It's basically a $40, $50 box. Again, it is before the Canadian Juniors, Canada Juniors, which was introduced the subsequent year. And, and two years into that, in 2015, of course, you had all your McDavid's with the patches and, and all that. And you also had the, um, you know, the women's uh, players as well. So this was their first little foray back into this stuff. They went a bit lighter, so the, so the boxes are a little bit lighter in a sense. 
uh, but you still do get two autos and you do get some pretty decent inserts and we happen to hit a Bobby or exclusive parallel numbered card. So that's it, man. This I would be folding cards before I leave you. Please um, add me on, I will subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm also on Facebook and I'm also on Twitter and I'm also on Instagram now. Uh, and yeah, that's it. And leave me a like if you like the video. Full cards live and direct from Brooklyn, New York.